you guys doing? I'm Chris Ignato, and today I'm going to be talking to you about pill bugs. Well, let me clear something up. These things aren't bugs. They're not insects. In fact, they are crustaceans, and they don't care a thing about pills. The reason why they're called pill bugs is because they roll up into little balls resembling that of a pill. Let's have a closer look. I know you know these guys. Let's learn a thing or two about them today, shall we? Now they often sleep in groups like this because, uh, well, it helps them conserve moisture. Sometimes you'll find big old groups of like 20 or 30 and there are tons of baby ones here. So the female will lay up to 25 eggs and it only takes a few days for those eggs to hatch. And then it takes a couple of months, maybe even longer at times, for the young to fully develop. They will hang out with their mom. In fact, the mother will keep them, will hold the eggs on her underside some, you know, for those few days until they hatch. And then she might actually still keep the babies there for a few days until they can start fending for themselves. And I'm sure you've noticed they actually do stay in communities, little woodlouse communities. It's kind of neat. I actually keep them in my different terrariums and vivarium setups with plants and other invertebrates and stuff because they feed on the fungus, molds, and mildew that grow in there. They keep that stuff to a minimum, which is very useful when you have a little humid environment. Now, because they feed on the decaying leaf and plant matter on the forest floor, they play a vital role in the carbon dioxide cycle. We owe a lot to them for keeping those levels in check, basically. These are isopods. That's a family that has about 3,000 species, and they've been around for about 150 million years. There are varieties that live in the ocean. In fact, there's one that lives on the uh, ocean bottom, really deep in cold water. They can grow up to, I think, a foot long, a foot and a half maybe, and they weigh about as much as a lobster. Now, the females can actually reproduce through parthenogenesis. Kind of sad for the males, isn't it? And there's actually this type of infection that can plague the males and turn them into females. Go figure. When they do reproduce, the females have perhaps up to 60 babies. And they keep the eggs on their underside held on to their, by those little leg type appendages, which aren't really legs, they're paddles. Um, these do originate in uh, oceans way back and they hold the eggs there and once they hatch they might keep the babies for a little while until they're old enough to survive on their own. These isopods breathe differently from other invertebrates. In fact, they breathe through gills and they have to keep them moist and, or damp, which is why they're often found in damp places under logs and rocks and all those kinds of things. A really neat thing about these is, uh, well, People used to consume them as a diuretic, especially in Germany, to help them urinate when they're having trouble doing so. And, get this, people very often have used them as a cure for heartburn because of the calcium carbonate that their shells are made out of. Those shells are rather porous. I said that they were used as a diuretic, but the interesting thing is, these uh, sow bugs or wood lice do not urinate. They basically excrete their urea or ammonia as a gas through their porous shells. And those porous shells actually dehydrate easier than other things, which is why you often see them grouped together on dry days. It helps conserve their moisture. So being crustaceans, these wood lice are actually closer related to shrimps and lobsters than they are millipedes and centipedes and other invertebrates. Now, to get more interesting about things, they're actually used as food in some cultures. Australia and parts of Asia like to eat these. And there's actually a fish sauce made from wood lice. And it's supposed to taste superior to shrimp. A lot of people describe them as uh, a rather shrimpy flavor. Have I tried that? What do you guys think? Really interesting though, isn't it? If you look closely, you might be able to see it, you might not. They have two tube-like projections coming out the back on their undersides. And they use those for drinking, believe it or not. 
and will also, in a defensive manner, let loose a foul, gaseous type defense mechanism to, you know, ward off predators. But as you know, they roll up into a tight ball, and that's their primary form of defense. Apparently, that exoskeleton, it's actually a pretty strong shell for their size. But there is a spider that feeds on them, the woodlouse spider. And I'm pretty sure I have footage of one of them. And it's got really long fangs devised and adapted specifically for feeding on wood lice. So what do you think guys? Interesting creature, isn't it? Sow bug, wood louse, goblin father, doesn't matter what you call them. They're really neat. And remember, they're crustaceans. They're not insects, are they? So uh, once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out. Thanks for watching.